In this presentation, we're going to enter data into our payroll register for the month of November. It's going to be similar to the prior time periods and therefore we're going to enter this a bit faster. So we're going to enter the data into November. We're going to copy and paste some more of the data representing the fact that it will be repetitive for the most part, although we need to be very careful on certain things that will change from pay period to pay period, which is where we will spend our time, including the OASDI wages, the FUTA cap and the SUTA cap. Got to be careful on those. Okay, so if the screens are not frozen, we're going to freeze the panes first. So we're going to scroll up top and then we're going to put our cursor in A4. So we're in cell A4. Then we're going to go to the view uh, tab. And we're going to go to the windows group and we're going to freeze the pane. Selecting freeze pane and freeze panes. Now that the pane is frozen, it'll be a little bit easier to work and we'll scroll back down. Hopefully it will. That's the point. We'll scroll back down to November here. So here's our November data. We're going to pull some of this data from the prior time period. So I'm going to scroll back up just a bit. We're going to pick up the filing status and the number of allowances. Those are pretty commonly the same. So we're going to just copy those right click, copy, scroll back down, right click, paste one, two, three. When would they differ by the way, if someone changed their W4 information? Now we're going to say that the pay period is even the same for these four employees, meaning we have a very standardized uh, pay set. We're going to say that they worked 163 hours again. So I'll copy that, even these hours. And we're also going to copy the rate. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing. So we're going to copy the hours and the rate. We're going to say the hours will be the same. Right click and copy. Now again, it would depend on uh, you know, what type of employees we have to see if the rates would be much the same from pay period to pay period. Some Sometimes they are very similar, especially if they're salaried employees, then they will be. And sometimes they vary greatly. So it just depends um, what industry we're in. We're going to right click in D26 and paste. Uh, either way should work, one, two, three or not. I'm going to recalculate uh, the regular pay and the overtime pay just to practice that. So we're in F26. We're going to say equals left left the 163 hours times the regular pay enter then in f27 equals left left the 161 hours times the regular pay enter and then in f28 we're going to say equals left left the 140 times the regular pay and enter and then the regular pay for uh, Judy, remember, is 35,000. So there's the 35,000. The overtime hours we're gonna say are the same as the prior pay period. So I'm just gonna copy the prior pay period. Uh, right click, I uh, should right click and copy. You can also use control C and go down here to G26, right click and paste. Uh, either one should work, one, two, three or normal. Then we'll calculate the uh, overtime rate the overtime rate which will equal this uh, 25 and e26 times 1.5 or 150 percent 1.5 and then the rate for cindy will equal the 28 times 1.5 150 percent and then the rate for jill will equal the 31 times 1.5 and then there's no rate of course for judy then we'll go to the overtime pay which will just equal the three hours times the 37.5 enter and then for uh, cindy equal the one hour times the 42 enter and then for uh, jill equals the zero times the 4650 then we don't have anything for judy jones and then total earnings will be in j26 equals the regular pay plus the overtime pay enter and then for cindy equals the regular pay plus the overtime pay enter for jill equals the regular pay plus the overtime pay and for judy will equal just the thirty-five thousand salaried pay okay so now we're in the oasdi now we need to check these because these could differ now we don't have to worry about these three going over this OASDI. It doesn't look like they're going to make over 1284 but Judy may, I mean, uh, this that's Judy, right? That's Judy, yes. She may. 
So we have to check that one for sure. So these three, I can basically say this will be the same. This will be the same. This will be the same. This one could differ. I want to check her earnings records. So we're going to go over to the right to the earnings records and see if she's over that limit. She's currently at 105. So not quite there yet. So this uh, 105, which means that let's do some math here. If we take the uh, 128.4 minus the 105, there's only 23.4 to get to the cap of 128.4. Uh, so therefore, we we need to record just that 123.4 to get up to the cap and we can't record the full 35,000. So this is where we really have to be careful not to miss that or we'll over withhold both on the employee and employer portion. So we'll scroll back over. And so this is where we hit that cap. So we're gonna say that this is only 23.4. And so that's, that's important to note. The FUTA and SUTA for all employees, if we go to FUTA and SUTA, they should have hit this already because we're past that point in time. So in other words, they're over the seven and 8,000 and they're both uh, here. So we've got the seven and 8,000 over the seven and 8,000 here. Here's this, we're over that. Here's the seven and 8,000. Here it is and we're over there. Okay, so there's zeros in other words for uh, Futa and Suta across the board. So zero, 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 zero there and same here zero 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 and zero then we have the oasdi which is going to be this column times 0.062 so this equals left 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 this column times 0.062 same for the next employee equals this column times 0.062 equals this column times 0.062 equals this column times 0.062 and there we have the social security with hi or medicare we're going to just say this equals and we're going to scroll all the way to the total column times 0.0145 we'll do the same thing for the next employee this equals all the way to the total column times 0.0145 same thing here we're going to say equals all the way to the total column times 0.0145 and one more time equals all the way to the total column times 0.0145 now we can copy and um copy and paste which we'll do next month but i just want to uh, calculate the formulas at least one more time and then the fit we're going to say is the same because we had no changes these would come from the table but we're going to say this is the same as the prior period because the net income is the same so it equals the same as the last uh, month equals the same as the last month which is the last pay period equals the same as the last month which is the last pay period equals the same as the last month which is the last pay period for all of them so here's with the fit the group insurance will be the same so the group insurance equals the same as the last month equals the same as the last month equals the same as the last month and the same as the last month for the four individuals same for the union we're going to say this equals the same as the last month and equals the same as the last month 401k uh we're going to say equals the same as the last month as well as the second employee same as the last month third employee same as the last month and the last employee same as the last month then we'll calculate the net pay. So net pay is gonna equal, we're gonna go all the way over to the total earnings. I'm gonna do this a couple different ways this time. We'll do that the long way first, minus the OASDI, minus the HI, minus the FIT, minus the group insurance, minus the union dues, minus the 401k. Now we'll do our, our sum function within this formula. For, for the second way, we can come to the same type of calculation, equals all the way over to the total earnings minus the sum, shift nine, and we're gonna go all the way over from left to right this time. The N27, social security, hold down shift, 
and go right to the 401k and then shift zero to close it up. Similar formula, we're gonna say equals, same formula, similar way of, of doing it. Going all the way to the total earnings minus the sum, S-U-M, shift nine, left once. Now we're just gonna go from left to right, hold down shift, left to right to the OASDI, close it up all the same way to get the same calculation tab. This third way is the fastest. And the fourth way will be the fastest of all, which is just to copy the formula down. I'm just going to put my cursor on the autofill here and just drag it down. And that's what we'll do most of the time uh, next month. And that, of course, will give that same formula. And it'll, it'll change the relative references, which is very nice. Okay, so then we're going to go over to OASDI. Same thing, we're going to say this equals. Let's roll over to the OASDI wages times 0.062 equals scroll over to the OASTI wages times 0.062 equals scroll over to the OASTI wages times 0.062 equals scroll over to the OASTI wages times 0.062 that too we could copy the formula down as we'll do next month HI equals I'm gonna scroll all the way to the earnings times 0.0145 you can see the calculation up top here enter equals all the way over to the earnings for the next employee times 0.0145 enter equals all the way over to the earnings times 0.0145 one more time equals all the way over to the earnings times 0.0145 four five and enter now suit uh, futa is going to be zero for all of them so i'm going to say equals go to the futa wages times 0 0.006 and i'm going to tab over and i'm going to do the same thing for suta and then we're going to copy them down so i'm going to say equals the suta wages so suta uh, times 0.054 and then we'll just copy these down. They'll be zero down across. So I'm just going to highlight these two, put my cursor on autofill, and then copy that down. So that's a bit uh, quicker way to fill out this data. The end.